this video, I'm going to talk about Spanish pronunciation, the many ways the Spanish R is pronounced. The Spanish R is pronounced differently based on the country region. There is a de facto pronunciation that most Spanish speakers and learners are familiar with. You can find five different types of R. The initial, which is at the beginning of a word, the double, the single intervocalic, which means between two vowels, and the syllable final plus a consonant, though it comes at the end of a syllable and before a consonant, and the syllable final, final. Even though the final is a syllable final, when it's at the end of a word, it is pronounced differently in some regions. A syllable is basically how you break up a word when you have the sounds. For example, comestible, comestible, magic, magic. Verdadero, verdadero. Recording, recording. The red R is the R at the end of the syllable. The first R is the one most people are familiar with. It's the trilled R in the beginning, the initial. The double R is also trilled. The intervocalic is a flap. And the final consonant, a flap. And the final can be a flapped or a trilled. Sometimes the initial is also a flap. So basically, rico, perro. Pero, verde, amor, amor. Here's some more examples of the initial and double. Rico, rana, rueda, rocío, revés. Perro, tierra, carro, arroz, hierro. The second type of R is the asibilada. This R can be found in many regions of Latin America. It sounds like this. Z. Here's some examples. Rico, jana, rueda. Rocío, revés, perro, tierra, carro, arroz, hierro. Los que tienen mayor posibilidad de desarrollar esa capacidad y ese talento, porque por más que uno tenga recursos y esa vocación se va desarrollando para recomponer, repartiendo en toda la provincia de La Rioja. Sometimes when people speak very quickly or after certain letters, some people would pronounce it like a sh. In some regions, people, instead of saying amor, or amor, they'll say their version of a trilled R, which is the asibilada, which would be z. So they would say amor or amos. This third R is the R that you'll find in English. R, rico, perro, verde, amor. The intervocalic will usually just be a flap. In some dialects of Portuguese, such as in Sao Paulo, you'll find this R, but it's usually in the final consonant and final. So some Brazilians would say Vergi and Amor, just like these Spanish speakers. Some examples, Rico, Perro, Verde, Amor. The fourth R, the Arrastrada, is an aspirated sound, so it's coming from the throat, such as in Rico. Pejo. Some people pronounce this lighter, like hico and pejo. In some dialects of Portuguese, such as some in Europe and in French, you'll find this on as well, such as in carro, rápido, rato, correr, rico, propre, rapide, ra, courir, riche. Let's look at some examples. Rico, rana, perro, tierra. And the softer one, rico, rana, Pejo, tierra, TR combination. In some dialects, R coming after a T has a sound that's similar to English. It's a T sound, such as in ocho, chatar, achas, tres, trabajo. Don't confuse it with the CH sound. So it's ocho and not ocho. LR exchange. You can find the L in Spanish in the initial position, the intervocalic position, the final and consonant position, and the final position. 
the initial intervocalic position won't really change into an R sound, so we can forget about them. We'll concentrate on the final consonant and the final. So when you have the L plus a consonant, such as in alma, el, caldera, alfajor, alcachofa, it is sometimes turned to a flap on in some dialects. So you'll hear instead of mi alma, mi arma, el niño, el niño, Alberto, Alberto, algo, algo. No mi arma, hace cinco años estaba yo. Pues manejo todo el dinero que quiero. Los periódicos tanto en el país como en el mundo. El del 25, el de 50. En Navidad o algo. Han regalado en el banco con la publicidad. In some regions, the R at the end of a syllable is not pronounced, making the consonant that follows doubled or just the R silent. So instead of verde, verde, izquierda, izquierda, verdad, verdad, arde, arde, dormir, dormir. Okay. Más pronto que tarde. Okay. No, no sé qué decirte, man. Un 20%. Buenas tardes, mi hermano. Buenas tardes. Okay. And since in some dialects they don't pronounce the R in this position, they'll just not pronounce them with the L either because it'll just mix with them. So, for example, instead of mi alma, they would say mi alma, el niño, el niño, Alberto, Alberto, algo, algo. The sound of the consonant is doubled in this case. The opposite. So we saw how the L changed into an R. Now we'll see how the R changes into an L. In the final consonant and final positions, such as in verde and amor. So instead of verde, some dialects pronounce it belde. Instead of izquierda, izquierda, verdad, belda, arde. Alde, dormir, dormir. And in the final position, amol, pol, bel, amal. In many languages, the versions of L's and R's have mixed, resulting in the same word now having an R sound or an L sound. Talium resulted in the Italian and Spanish, cielo, cielo. And the Romanian, cer, angelus, angelo, angel, inger. As you can see, Romanian has developed this L as an R. Another example would be in French and Spanish and Portuguese and Italian, azur, azul, azzurro. In some languages of Italy, you'll also find this, soldi, Italian, sordi, Neapolitan, al sole, Italian, al sole, romanesco, albero, Italian, albero, romanesco. Many people are familiar with Japanese having the mix between the R and the L. This is because their R and L and our R and L don't coincide. It's a different language and it's not really how we spell things but how we listen and hear things. That's why the L and the R have developed so differently in other languages. In Japanese, for instance, when using the Romaji alphabet, the L and the R are mixed because of the proximity of pronunciation in the mouth. For example, crystal. Cristal, chocolate, chocoreto, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. I hope this helped you understand the R better in Spanish. And as you didn't know that existed because Spanish is spoken in so many countries and so many regions with so many accents that it's impossible to know how everyone speaks. I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao.